everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video and that is a Craftably unboxing. So unfortunately, this is not my pre-orders. <laughs> um, if you follow Craftably on Instagram, you would have seen their recent update. I don't really have uh, any idea when the pre-orders from January are coming in. It's fine. Um, you know, that's kind of the nature of a pre-order. You're ordering them ahead of time. You don't necessarily have a guarantee. If you want to know exactly when you're going to get your diamond painting or anything else, just wait until they're listed as in stock on the website. Um, there it was. There is a kit that I would love to work on this summer, but I'm I kind of have a backup plan now, just in case it doesn't get here, which again is fine. But Craftably announced a. I think did they call it their spring cleaning sale or spring sale or something where they were trying to get rid of some kits and these kits came without a tube so i believe they come in just the plastic um you had to like agree to that when you went to put it in your cart there was a pop-up that was like please acknowledge that this kit does not come in a tube <laughs> so i thought it was funny but I understand totally why they have to do that, but let's get into this. I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to open this on the floor here. Let me know if you guys picked up anything from this Craftably sale. They had some cute stuff. Um, ah. <laughs> let's see. I have a handwritten note. Thank you so much for purchasing from our store. We appreciate you and look forward to serving you again. We hope you love your purchase. Craftably yours, Lynn, AKA Crafty Writer. I don't think I've ever had a note from Lynn before. I have purchased from Craftably plenty of times. Um, got a few different things this time. Okay, so toolkits, you still got a toolkit. And then it looks like the smaller stuff is in this little padded mailer. So let's start there and then we will move on to the diamond paintings. All right. So what do we have? I picked up a tote. <laughs> this was part of the sale and I just thought it was really cute. So it's coming up obviously on spring and summer and my boyfriend and I spend a lot of time um, up north. So I like to bring a diamond painting back and forth. I do have um, a bag from another company but I thought this was really cute. They had a whole bunch of colors and it's super sparkly. So I picked that up and then in here This is a nice bag too. It's very nice canvas and it's larger than the other tote bag that I have. So, and I liked the color. All right, so we got that. And I was very close to free shipping. So I decided to add on a couple of these, I think these are keychains um, with special drills. So I picked up an L for myself. My name is Laura, if you didn't know. <laughs> and then I picked up an E. Uh, e. I have a niece whose name is Elizabeth, and then there's an N in here. I think it goes this way. Uh, I have another niece whose name is Natalie, so I thought this would be just a cute little project to work on with them when they come over for their next sleepover. I want to say these ended up being like $2, uh, so a really cheap little craft to keep them occupied. They're older. Uh, Natalie is 12 and Elizabeth is, she'll be 10 this summer. So, you know, definitely something they can handle. So I picked those up and that was purely to get free shipping. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these toolkits. Uh, Craftably has one of my favorite toolkits. Um, I love their little branded bag and you get some extras with theirs. So, we have two rolls of washi tape. They're regular, like the regular part of their toolkit. You have a pen, 
a pair of sharp tweezers, a boat, a squishy, uh, let's see, a four placer and a seven placer. These are both the skinny tips and a thing of pink wax. You also get two little pots of pink wax and you get a cover minder. Now, I don't have this little hedgehog. How cute is this? I don't have that one. <laughs> if you know, I love cover minders, so I love getting new ones. Now let me just, I'll take out just the washi and the minder for this one. So we have a butterfly tape and some orange stripes. And for the cover minder, we have a little heart. I think I have this one, but that's okay. Oh, I can't get this one open, but a little heart cover minder. All right, so now let's get into these kits. Which one do I want to start with? I think I'll start with this one. Now, if I am remembering correctly, this kit will be a little out of season, <laughs> but that's okay. I don't love the tape personally. Uh, it doesn't damage the canvas. I just don't, I don't know. I just don't prefer it, but gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so we have our drills. Oh, we got a drill on the outside there. Oh, maybe it's not on the outside. So one of these bags is open, but that's okay. And this one is Santa's Night Off. I am such a sucker for Daniel Rogers Christmas images. I think I have three or four at this point. Um, probably more than that. And when I saw this one was part of the sale, I was like, okay. <laughs> You're coming home with me. <laughs> so craftably canvases are of course poured glue. So I'm gonna roll this one backwards so we can lay it flat. This is a long one. Now, okay, craftably does their canvases in inches, which I feel like people probably prefer, especially when you're trying to frame it. But in terms of diamond painting, my brain just works in centimeters. I cannot remember off the top of my head what this measures in centimeters, but it's a 36 inch by 18 inch. And with Craftably, you get pre-cut labels, very large pre-cut labels. This kit has 68 colors. Oh my gosh. So it looks like 60 regular drills, and then we have four ABs and four crystals. What? I think that's the most crystals I've ever gotten in a kit from Craftably. So that's exciting. Um, we'll take a look at the special drills. I'm not going to take all the colors out, but I am interested to see where the special drills go. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get all of this in frame. So I will kind of just move it a little bit. Um, but isn't this just so sweet? You have Santa in his chair by the fire this little furry friend, Christmas tree. This is, I love Christmas. <laughs> I know that not everybody celebrates Christmas, obviously, um, but personally, I'm a sucker for Christmas. It is my favorite holiday. All right, let's take a look at these special drills. Oh, I can see the crystals already. I don't want to rip this sticker. Oh man. Kind of saved it. All right, so crystal, 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 and four ABs. Is that right? One, two, three. Yes. So here is just an overview of the regular drills. Lots of colors, actually. More colors than I thought there would be. Quite a few blues. Uh, some obviously oranges and reds and greens. These are round drills, obviously, and I have had some really good experience with Craftably's drills. Um, these look great. I see very few little like pinpricks on the bottom, 
so yeah, these drills look really nice. Okay, let's take a look. So for the ABs, we have a yellow. If you're unfamiliar with ABs, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's just a regular drill that has a special coating on the top. Hopefully my light is picking that up. And it just kind of makes it extra sparkly. We have just a little bit of this pink. And then we have a light yellow. And then for our crystals, looks like we have a gold. We have a dusty rose kind of color. It's just kind of a light green, yellowish color. And then the final is this really pretty blue. All right, so like I said, I'm not gonna be able to get the whole canvas in, so I'll kind of just point out a few areas where I can see these special drills. So let's start with the ABs. So 61 is that brighter yellow, and that is the symbol S. And I can see that over here in these candles. I can also see that in Santa's face and along his arm, uh, obviously in the fire. There's some down here, kind of where the fire is reflecting. Uh, that's that brighter yellow. The second AB is the white, which is symbol O. And I can see that here in Santa, kind of in the, obviously the white parts. There's also some looking out the window that you guys can't see. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for that. Um, 63 is the pink. Now the pink AB is kind of, it's the upside down Y, I guess you could say. Oh no, there's two upside down Ys. Hold up. Are there two? There are. Ooh, okay, so <clears throat> they're two different colors, which is good, but 815 is like a thicker upside down Y, and then this pink AB is a thinner upside down Y. I don't love that. Uh, I think that there are other symbols. There are plenty of symbols out there that you shouldn't have to copy a symbol that that's that similar so maybe if it's possible in the future uh, maybe craftably could look into making that change um my eye when i said oh upside down y it automatically went to that darker upside down y which clearly i realized wasn't this color but it could still be confusing uh let's see can i find this color so now i'm gonna have to say thin upside down y thin upside down y do you like say your symbol to you to yourself while you're diamond painting sometimes i do i say it in my head um i don't see this one. Oh, yes i do it's along the back of santa's hat right here and then the final ab is this pale yellow and this symbol is the sideways equal sign. So it's like tilted, slanted, I guess. Um, let's see here. I'm looking, I'm not seeing it. I don't see it in the fire. I see some here on Santa's hat. There's also two sideways equal signs. Okay, not sideways, they're slanted. So we have this one here, and then we also have this one, which those are similar-ish colors. They look pretty close on the canvas. So that's another one where I'm kind of like, oh, I don't love that. I do move my canvas all around when I diamond paint. So 
for some people, they maybe you keep your canvas the same orientation the entire time you're working on the kit, but I do not. Um, my setup just doesn't work that way. So I will have it upside down, I'll have it the right way, I'll have it sideways. Um, so that can be a little tricky. So definitely keep that in mind. Okay, let's take a look at these crystals. So the first crystal is the kind of gold one and that is symbol B. And I see that over in those candles that I was talking about before. And I also see that throughout the fire. So kind of where this AB is, this crystal kind of coordinates with that. The second crystal is this pink color and that's the like slanted T. I do see that symbol in another color as well, but it's in a green. So hopefully that won't be a problem. Um, let's see here. So we have the sideways T here and the sideways T here. So that's a lot of like the same symbol, just in a different orientation. I don't love that. Um, I would definitely like to see that changed. I mean, from some of the other companies out there, we know, I just dropped the sticker sheet, we know that there are a lot of symbols available. So maybe in future releases, Craftably could keep that in mind. Um, just for ease of the craft, kind of, you know, it's it's supposed to be relaxing. And I feel like if you're constantly worrying about mixing up your symbols, that could be a little stressful. Um, so that crystal is along the back of Santa's hat here, kind of where this light pink AB is. Our third crystal is this kind of I don't know, it kind of looks like a peridot type of color. That is the symbol P. And I'm wondering if there's some of that over in this Christmas tree. Yep, so there's some of that over here in this tree. And then the final AB, not AB, crystal is the light blue. And that's like the bobby pin symbol. Um, and I see that over here in this window that I don't think you guys can see. So over here in this window. So that is Santa's night off. Super, super cute image. I have seen this one completed and I think it comes out really nicely. It's a, it's a good size. It's long, but I think because it's thin ish, um, it should work up pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, so that's this one. Let me roll this one back up and then we will take a look at the final kit. <clears throat> I forgot to mention that Craftably does ship their drills pre-bagged, which isn't personally my favorite, but I know that there are a lot of people out there that do love that. Um, my recommendation for pre-bagged drills, at least in my environment, is to just plan to use a dryer sheet. Uh, that will help you cut down on static. So here is the final kit. And I'm excited about this one. So I went back and forth on purchasing this kit many, many times. I have seen people complete it and when I saw it as part of the sale, I was like, you know what, now may be the time. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily that it's being, that any of these are being discontinued. I think maybe they just had overstock. I'm not really sure. Why can't I get this tape off? I lost my box cutter. This is not going to plan. <laughs> there we go. Another reason why I don't like the tape. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to roll this one backwards. Now, this particular kit, like I said, I, I don't know, did I just say this? My brain. I have filmed a couple videos in a row and now everything's like blending together. I have seen this kit completed, but it was in one of their previous generations of their kits. Um, so they have made changes to this one. They've, I believe they've upped the size. They've changed the rendering a little bit. So this one is Black Hole in the Galaxy. Did I get that right? 
Black Hole in the Milky Way. This is by, oh shoot, um, it lists her, okay, so this particular artist previously went by Tanya Shatseva. I believe they now go by Eva Gaiman. I'm sorry if I got that wrong, um, but this does still list Tanya Shatseva. Um, this particular artist is also licensed to another company, so you have probably seen this uh, from that particular company. Uh, there are quite a few bumps in this plastic, so if you're seeing that, it's not the canvas, it's the plastic itself. So we'll just peel back and smooth that down. Now, Craftably uses a very, very thick plastic. So if you like to work with your plastic cover still on, uh, this is a great option for you, especially with this particular one. Okay. This kit is a 24 by 24 inches, which I believe works out to be 61 by 61 centimeters. There are 62 colors. Um, we have 57 regular drills, three ABs, and two crystals. And I purchased this in round. I think this is one of the kits that you can purchase in round or square, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't this just, it's so, okay. It's so different from my usual style. So when I had it in my cart, I was like, is this me? <laughs> and I was like, well, no, it's not, but you like it. So why not go for it? So I did, especially at the sale price. Now, my question to you guys, is this a hat or is it the hole in the Milky Way? Like, is it a black hole? I don't know. <laughs> I've seen like different interpretations. A lot of people think it's a hat and then others think it's the actual black hole. Let me know your thoughts. All right, let's take a look at these drills. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, really pretty. What did I say? Three and three? No, three, four and two? I'm confused. Nope, three. <laughs> I am confusion. Okay. Ooh, pretty. All right, let's take a look at where these special drills go. So our first AB is this really pretty purple. And this symbol is the percent sign. Let's see if I can actually find it. Um, interesting. All right, before I do this, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of spots where I'm a little, hmm. So this symbol right here, this one, kind of like the sideways or like tilted hourglass. That is coming across as quite blurry, which is a surprise to me. Normally, I don't have any issues with Craftably's canvas or drill field. Um, so that one looks a little iffy. And I'm also seeing that particular symbol again in a different color. So we have it in this purple, which is 327. And then we have it again in this pink, which is 3801. Um, and they're fairly close to each other. So obviously I can distinctly differentiate between pink and purple. Personally, I do not suffer from any type of colorblindness or anything like that. But here's the pink one. And here's the purple one. So I definitely feel like that could trip up some people. Um, I'm not seeing any other colors. Uh, and then they have another one in blue, which is just like sideways. So I feel like that could be a little confusing for some. I'm just taking a quick look at the symbol since I didn't do that before. Uh, 
I am seeing some similar symbols again. So 14 and 15 are like the sideways T. Then you have a regular T. Um, you have these two, which you wouldn't think would be confusing, but they're very close in color, so they could be confusing. So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of similar symbols again, which I'm not crazy about, but it is what it is. All right, let's get back to the ABs. So the percent sign, I'm seeing that over here in this purple area. And I also see it throughout here, which my ring light is throughout this area here. <clears throat> the next AB is white, which is the letter O. And I see that pretty much anywhere you see white. Is there any other white charted in this kit? There is not. So anywhere you see like a stark white is this white AB. So kind of highlighting her hand here. Um, I see a little bit above her lips as kind of like a Cupid's bow highlight. There's also some over in this area where that purple was. And then the final AB is this light pink, which is the, <clears throat> excuse me, little up arrow carrot. And I see that throughout her hand. And anywhere else, there's not a lot of that. There's also some in this same little area here where the purple and white are. Now for our crystals, the first one is this really pretty, it's kind of looks like my birthstone. So I'm a November baby, so it kind of looks like that, like citrine or what's the other? There's two names for the November birthstone, but I can't remember. Citrine and something else. <laughs> if you're a November baby, let me know. Um, and this is like the lowercase y. So I see that kind of sprinkled throughout this middle part here. And I also see it in a big chunk right over here. And our final crystal is 62. Um, and the symbol is a check mark. And it's this really pretty blue. And for that one, it's kind of, it's around this planet. There's also some on this planet down here. And do I see any in her hair? I do see some up along the top of her head here. Really pretty piece. Like I said, kind of out of my element, but I just, I've looked at it so many times and I've been drawn to it so many times that I was like, it's on sale. Maybe this is your chance. <laughs> so that is my Craftably haul. Um, unfortunately, that sale is not going on any longer. Um, so let me know if you took advantage of it because I definitely think it was worth it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.